What's up, my grub lovers? Who ready to get their grub on? You know that I am. It's your boy, Mr. Grub, back again with another video for you guys. Um, today, I'm going to check out a, a, another wing spot um, that was actually recommended to me. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and check it out. It's called Wings Hut in Fort Pierce. I'm going to go ahead and check them out, man. I heard they have some delicious wings. And you know how I am about my chicken, man. So I got to put them to the test because that's what I do. So I'm going to head over there now, man. I'll get with you guys in a bit. It's your boy, Mr. Grub. Alright guys, we here. So I'm gonna get ready to head in there now and uh check the spot out. It's actually a small small establishment, man. Like I, I think I've driven past this place a few times and didn't even notice it was here. <laughs> um so it's actually pretty small, you know, but you know, we all know it's not about the size, you know, it's about the motion in the ocean. No, nah, I'm just bullshit. But, you know, uh what they say, big things come in small packages. So uh, I'm sure they weren't referring to chicken, but we're going to use it for chicken today. Bruh. So we're going to head in there now, man. Check them out. Uh, see what the best uh, best dish they got, man. You know, best chicken. And put them to the test. You know, it's your boy. It's the grub, man. All right, guys. So... I went ahead and said, you know what, let me try their honey garlic chicken wings. So I got a chicken wings and fries. Um, I heard those were pretty good, so I was like, well, you know, you can't go wrong with the honey garlic, man. So I got my fries. And then I got me a little extra chicken on the side, so you guys can see. This my extra chicken, got a little chicken. You know what I'm saying? With the honey dripping at the bottom. And then, I got the, the you know, regular order of my honey garlic chicken and fries. So y'all can see that. Bring it to your attention. Check that out, man. That's what I like, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and get in on that, man. Let y'all know how it is. Um, and we'll reconvene in a second. I'm gonna fry it hot. I actually came in, placed the order when I got here instead of calling it in. So we be ready in 10 minutes. But voila, it's ready, so. I always like that, you know. You gotta think about it like this. A lot of people um, who go to these places or have time to go to these places, they go on their lunch break, right? And we all know, going on your lunch break from work, you ain't getting probably about 30 minutes. Some of the luckier people get an hour, but even then, 10 minutes to dry there, 10 minutes to wait on your food, 10 minutes to get back. You walk back in the building with your food you can't even eat because you break up. So it's good that more people are actually uh, leaning towards having food ready faster, you know. But at the same time, you know, still making sure that they take the necessary precautions to make sure that the food is cooked properly. So, you know, uh, shout out to people who know how to adapt and change, man. All right, so let's try this chicken, man. That's good, man. It's sweet, but not too, too sweet that it takes away from the chicken, so you can still taste the chicken. It's cooked through. Y'all know how I am about that, man. I like that. It's really good, man. Like I said, to be able to do this in a short period of time and you know, like I said, cook it through, make it delicious, man. That's what I do this for, you know? So, it's 
always good to have a spot that you can go to and get your little food on the run because everybody doesn't have the luxury to sit down in a restaurant and you know talk and gossip and carry on like they ain't got nowhere to be you know what I mean so the fact that you have places like Wing Hut that cater to the average Joe you know who just has enough time to eat I appreciate that man I always appreciate that they did an exceptional job too the chicken is really good the fry are good and, and hot just like I like it and, and like I said it, it caters to the working man and by me saying that is they have maybe one or two tables in there but they have a lot of chairs for people to like I guess you know sit down and wait a little bit for the food but it's mainly for takeout and they could have tried to make it where uh, they were catering to people who want to sit down they could have done that but they, they picked the niche and they, they stuck with it you know what I mean shout out to Wings Hut for being consistent. This is really good, man. If you guys are ever in the Fort Pierce area, man, check out Wings Hut. The honey garlic chicken, man. Check it out. Tell them Mr. Grub sent you. Mm. This is really tasty. Like I said, I go to places all the time, man. You know, and unlike most people, you know, I, I'm willing to try whatever because it's like a mutual respect kind of thing. You know what I mean? It's uh, supporting people, whether big or small, trying to accomplish something. And I support that. I support growth. You know, uh, independency, entrepreneurship. So when you see family own businesses, uh, you know, trying to be successful in a, in, a, in, a, in a very competitive market, you know, it helps to, uh, you know, have a platform for them. You know what I mean? Yeah, I don't mind. That's what I do. I also like the fact that they take care of the establishment. Like I always say, some of the, the best places to eat aren't in the best locations, but they don't let that uh, dictate how they go to business. So for a lot of people from middle class and, and upper class neighborhoods won't go eat in a lower class neighborhood because of the area, you know, or of the demographic. But people who are from the lower class area will still eat there because they still maintain it as they should. They keep the place clean. You know, have music and TVs, things like that to keep people entertained while they wait on their food. And the food is good. They know you by name if you come enough times. Like, you like that personal touch. You know what I mean? Maybe everybody doesn't think like that. You know when it comes to food but i think that's the same with business you know those mom and pop businesses they they think more about their associates they care about their people the larger corporations sometimes just you know just a number you know uh, so i feel like if you can get that sense of personal belonging whether it's just going to lunch going to dinner going to work whatever you know then 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 do it you know like i said i would choose that any day which is why I do what I do. You know? Well, shout out to Wings Hut, man. They took care of me right. My food's fresh, hot, very tasty.
The service was great. You know, there was only one lady in there, and um, she was just making sure everything was right, double checking it. She made sure I had everything in my bag. Before she tied it up, you go to places all the time, man, and you open your bag and you don't have no fork, you don't have no ketchup, whatever. She made sure all that was taken care of, you know, and it's the small things like that, man, that make you appreciate, you know, uh, the way people go to business, you know? So, shout out to Wings Hut, man. You get a 10 from your boy, Mr. Grub. You guys ever in the Fort Pierce area, man, don't hesitate to check them out. You will not regret it. You're hearing it first here from your boy. I'm going to go on here. I'm going to go on and dig in on this, man, and finish it up. Get back with you guys in a bit. It's your boy, Mr. Grub. All right, guys, so that was really good, man. Really good. Got to have him some wet naps so I can wipe my hands and stuff from all that honey. But, yeah, man, they're really good. Really, really tasty chicken, man. Uh, you know, they serve... I mean, at least 15 different flavors, man. Honey teriyaki, barbecue, lemon pepper. Um, your choice, man. So, you guys ever in the area, man, definitely check out Wings Hut, man, in Fort Pierce. You won't regret it, man. Tell them Mr. Grub sent you. Don't forget to like and subscribe and comment below if there's any place you'd like me to try out, man. You know I put them to the test. That's what I do. Until next time, you guys, it's your boy, Mr. Grub. I'm out.